Welcome back, my friends, to TFT Hyperroll with Artark, and got a crazy one for you today. Stay till the end. This one gets really, really wild. But okay, we're gonna start Scuttle Puddle because, yeah, anytime that appears, it seems like everyone just goes to it, and we're off to the let's get as many items as possible races. Now, with the Scuttle Puddle, and an early Olaf with Pentakill, this gave me the chance to maybe do something I've been wanting to do for a while, which is try to take Olaf all the way to the end, because with the right items, he does become pretty strong. Titan's Resolve, Bloodthirster, and either Steric Gauge or Rageblade. I prefer Rageblade, because then he just keeps attacking faster and faster and faster, and he'll heal faster and faster and faster. But those three items can do pretty good on Olaf. And not only do we get Scuttle Puddle, but we have the potential for Component Buffet, and I do not hesitate, because now I know I'm going to be able to craft exactly what I want on this Olaf. By the time I'm into the first fight, I'm well on my way to where I want to be. I've got two two-star Olafs and another one, so I'm two Olafs away. I've got the Rage Blade and then part of the Bloodthirster. And I don't think it's going to be hard to make a Titan's Resolve, given the Scuttle Puddle and the Component Buffet combined. By the time I hit 4-1, I am one Olaf away. I've decided to go with Bruiser as my secondary trait here because I feel like Olaf can be the carry pretty deep into the game. Now, let's talk about the second thing in this game. Here I have the option to get the Chain Vest, which would be part of the Titan Resolve, or a Spatula. Now, since I have Component Buffet, I'm pretty confident I can get all the items I want, including potentially another Spatula which is what I would need if I ever wanted to do 10 pentakills, since you need two components to do it. And this will give you an idea of what kind of game this is going to be, because they high-rolled their Yasuo, their gold three stars already. I'm one away from my gold three star Olaf, so this is going to be a battle all the way to the end. It is time for our second set of augments, and I am not going to mess around too much with this. I see Golden Ticket, and unless something leaps out at me, I'm going to take the Golden Ticket. Then we can start continuing to try to craft our items. I'm thinking of both Olaf items and eventually what are going to be Karthus items, since you're going to need him at Endgame. We pick up our sword for the Bloodthirster, then one of the many chain vests we're going to want if we want to do everything, and we get our gold three-star Olaf and can throw in another bruiser. And you will see here why I love this combination on Olaf. He's going to keep attacking faster and faster and faster, and he heals naturally as part of his kit, but adding the Bloodthirster in gives him that additional shield, which gives him a little bit of additional time and allows him to pull out wins like that. Are you ready to feel my eyes go wide? There's a second spatula. Again, normally I would just combine these spatulas and make a tactician's crown, but I've got component buffet, so I can go ahead and start making pentakill emblems, because I am fairly confident I can get the other two chain vests I'm going to need sometime throughout the rest of this match. And as I said, this is a match of high rolls. They have three-star Vi, three-star Jinx. I've only got the three-star Olaf at this point and two of my three items. I could create the Titan's Resolve, but I'm holding on just to make sure I'm going to use the Chain Vest that way. Time for the third set of Augments, and this one's going to make itself really obvious. Yeah, Metalheads. Okay, so yeah. No question, I have now gone ahead and made the second Pentakill Emblem, and I put it on Samira because ultimately I want to get Karthus involved. Obviously, I'm going to need him to get to 10 Pentakills, and that will give Executioner, and we will have 10 Pentakills with two Executioners. I'm also building some nice little Karthus items over on the left. And remember again, I said game of high rolls, so of course there is a gold 
three-star spell weaver Annie out there that's just set to torture us. And that will be enough to get through us at this point because we're not that tanky yet as we don't really have the tank champions for it. But the thing with Pentakill is you're going to take less damage if you can get to the 10 Pentakills so you don't need the tanks. I've now picked up a Karthus and oh by the way remember I said high roll. Uh, we are one Samira away from a gold 3 star Samira as well on top of all of this. Now item wise I pretty much am down to putting a Archangel Staff on Karthus as I was not able to get a sword to make the Spear of Sojin. By the way, there's our gold three-star Samira. I still have tons of gold to roll through at this point, and all I need is a Yorick, and I have achieved something I haven't achieved all season, and that is the ten Pentakills. Item choice wise, I'm going to go with the Ionic Spark because I want to beef up Mordekaiser a bit and reduce some of the magic resist of the opposing team so they will be more likely to go down when Karthus casts. And while I am rolling, there is Yorick and we do a little dance because no matter what, at the end of this round, we can go to the 10 Pentakills. Remember, this is a high roll game. They've got the gold 3-star Samira and the gold 3-star Yasuo. But I don't even care. I've got my 2-star Karthus on the bench and Yorick comes in next and I get to go to the 10 Pentakills where I'm going to get 50% damage reduction on my Pentakill champs. Now I'm pretty over the moon at this point because I didn't think I was going to get to see 10 Pentakills all season. I decide I want to get an adaptive helm for Yorick up front. Remember, they're still, they're taking reduced damage, but a little extra tankiness won't hurt. And then the Hand of Justice to complete Samira, because I've got the gold three-star Samira in the corner, who is an executioner, so why not give her a little bit more crit? And yeah, I'm currently at the bottom of the health charts, but it was all for a good cause. I've now got my 10 Pentakills, my two-star Karthus, Gold Samira, we're gonna clean house. And I originally was thinking of grabbing Mosher here, however, I already had a plan to get rid of Set because I was eyeing bringing in Alawi if I could get a two-star Alawi to be the 10th Pentakill. I've ultimately sacrificed my whole bruiser thing, but having a two-star Alawi as my 10th pentakill is going to be pretty strong. And notice the other story forming on the bench as I am now one Karthus away from a gold three-star Karthus in my 10th pentakill build. But remember, this is a game of high rolls. That's a gold three-star Bard and a gold three-star Lulu. But luckily, uh, Karthus is going to just wipe them out and knock them off the board. We are down to our final two items. I go with the Warmogs just to make Alawi tankier. Then go ahead, grab the items. But I want to roll through first. Looking for Alawis. Get my gold three-star Karthus. Then the two-star Yorick. For the final item, I decide to give Yorick some power and go with the Death Blade. Because remember, they're already getting 50% lower damage just because we got to the 10 Pentakills. But remember, this is a game of high rolls. That is a gold 3-star Caitlyn in that corner facing off against us. But we have 10 Pentakills and a gold 3-star Karthus, so they are out and we are into the top four. And I'm going to say it again. This is a game of high rolls. Because in the back there is a gold three-star Ari against our ten pentakills with a gold three-star Karthus. And I think pretty much every one of these people who had these other teams thought for sure they were going to win. But nothing is beating a ten pentakill team and we are down to the 1v1 and i will say it one last time this was a game of high rolls because there is a gold three star zed now i watched very carefully to see if there was anything else i should worry about 
Nothing appeared on the board, but when we get back, the Akali is now also gold three stars. So it's a gold three star Zed and a gold three star Akali with an Edgelord emblem. But we've got 10 pentakills with a gold three star Karthus. So we should be able, or not. And as I sat there in shock, all I could say was GG because it was GG for everyone. And that was the craziest game I had this whole season. And I can go back now and nitpick choices I made at different points in the game. I should have dumped Olaf and used my champion duplicator just to recreate him to get a higher level pentakill headliner. I should have made sure I got the Spear of Sojin on Karthus, but in reality, it was 10 pentakill. I really did not think it was going to lose, but here we are. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have an absolutely, absolutely... Awesome day.